DeFi pick of the week. Uh, Justin and Corey here diving into a unique protocol that uh, we cover in the DeFi space. So uh, Fracton protocol is fractionalizing NFTs. Uh, quick disclaimer, be very mindful of your location. If you are in the United States, this is likely going to be considered a security by the SEC. Um, I do believe this is trading more in Asian markets. It's definitely on KuCoin. It's only on KuCoin. So um, not necessarily their jurisdiction is where I'm kind of playing this, but uh, being mindful of that fact as well. A pretty cool project, which we'll dive into when we get into the website, but looking at CoinGecko info. So we do have that total supply. Now, this is a new, new project. Uh, we've got data going back to August of last year. So we don't have information on circulating supply, availability, such like that. But we do see some decent trading volume coming in on the 24 hour. So we can see that it is on the Ethereum. So ERC-20, we've got our address there using Etherscan and their official website here. So going down to the chart, like I said, fairly new. So we got some pretty cool movement going on here. 6.4% down from the all-time high, which was only a couple days ago. So coming down, 30-day movements looking good. That's what I like to see. You can read through some of this stuff if you'd like, but the website is definitely the place to go when you're doing a deeper dive looking for that information. And then KuCoin is the only centralized exchange that we've got information coming into on CoinGecko, but we can pick this up on Uniswap as well. So jumping over to the website, so this is pretty cool. Corey, you do a really good job explaining this. And I know you got a lot of passion around fractionalized NFTs. So, Yeah, it's been a space I've been exploring for a long time. But due to being in North America, it's one that needs to be approached the right way just because it is likely to be deemed a security. But basically, we're looking at some of the most popular NFTs in the space being picked up and then they're creating a token uh, that basically represents that NFT. So this token has 1 million total supply. So in effect, you can buy a fraction or one, one, one millionth of the NFT. It's geared around ownership, but as far as why I like it is mostly the trading. So this thing's got some pretty good volatility. The one thing that caught my eye was high doodles and that thing did 9,000% in 20 days. So that's where these NFTs have pretty incredibly high Ethereum, I don't wanna say value, but uh, you can see how many Ethereum they're estimated to be worth. So um, it doesn't mean that's what they're actually worth, but uh, that's what they're typically trading for. So um, pretty cool stuff. So you can actually pick up a, a good chunk of this. We, we've been trading it on KuCoin, but um, it's something quite unique to the space that we don't really see, but uh, we're going to see much more frequently. So um, I imagine there's a lot of different use cases that are just waiting on clarification from regulatory bodies, but um, this is one of the initial and uh, definitely a valuable use case because that was one of the big things with a lot of these NFTs, the run-ups. You can't, you know, most people don't have hundreds of ETH or thousands of ETH to be spending on an NFT, you know, piece of digital art. <clears throat> you know, crypto punks, for instance, uh, was, I, I can't remember what the top one went for, but it was, I believe, tens of millions of dollars, so if not hundreds, but pretty good trading volume. Um, definitely do your research into these. I'm playing around with the trading, but uh, it's pretty, pretty volatile, <laughs> you know, up 40%, down 50%. It's all over the place, but uh we can track it on trading view. Um, there's some interesting, you definitely got to dive into each of the NFTs, but interesting use cases with these NFTs as well. So um, how far the tokens actually represent the ownership of the NFT, that's you know going to be in the white paper, but uh, it's a, yeah, 
a, a cool new development in the space that not everybody is talking about, but I've been getting a lot of questions. What are these high coins? What is going on here? Why are they running like crazy? And that's typically because the, the coins are being distributed, um, basically opened up for trading on KuCoin and Uniswap. And they're basically <laughs> finding their market value, right? So super volatile, but um, yeah, growing. I didn't realize up until yesterday that there was 20 different projects on uh, Fracton. So I had, I think 12 that I was tracking. So they are adding them. Um, this falls in line with a lot of the stuff that we cover at DeFi. So there was a lot uh, going on last year in the DAO space, decentralized autonomous organization, um, where people are getting together anonymously and pooling their Ethereum to buy some of these NFTs. So you know, it was only a matter of time before we get into something like this. So definitely all over uh, <laughs> Twitter, KuCoin for sure. So check it out for sure. The new listings uh, tend to get a little crazy, but once they cool off, they can make a, a decent entry point on some of these. So we'll have more to report back on. We'll see how this develops in the next three to six months. It is very new. Uh, again, it is likely deemed likely to be deemed a security. So be cautious, uh, especially as it gets bigger, You know, it gathers more attention and uh, we'll see. But we need projects like this, like XRP to really pave the way uh, with the regulatory bodies, so the rest of us little guys can, you know, navigate the space without having to pay those legal fees. So, uh, much more to come, but uh, yeah, just a quick, short, um, cool project that could make some potential great gains here in this next run up. Uh, again, not financial advice, be very cautious, do your due diligence, and of course, practice proper risk management as all. Being fairly fresh, uh, the the trading side is definitely exciting and and fast paced. Um, you know, I lean I lean towards the day trading and the scalping, so definitely shorter term. But the solution is the the project and the solution they bring is just super cool. You know, that fractionalized ownership. Um, it can fit in so many different spaces. You know, outside of the art, which right now is the focus, but you bring that into other societal systems and other industries and markets, pretty powerful. So really cool to see these guys paving the way and definitely going to watch for developments in that space. Yeah. Giving ordinary people, everyday people that don't, don't have billions of dollars access to some of these institutional trading opportunities. So leveling the playing field and uh, not necessarily the end all solution, but a big step in the right direction. So with that, we'll wrap it up for today. We'll see you same time, same place next week. Make sure to hop on our weekly Bitcoin workshop every single Wednesday on the Facebook page. We're on Telegram. Uh, the DTM public events, uh, as well as Twitter. So check us out there. There's contests, there's giveaways, there's all sorts of fun stuff going on. And uh, yeah, you can win subscriptions and real cold, well, B BTAF tokens as well can be converted to cold hard cash too. So lots going on. And uh, we've got the Friday AUA every week as well. So if you want to learn more about what we're doing at the DeFi course, what we're doing at DTM, what we're doing with the UTC course, make sure to join us there. So same time, same place every single week. Take care, everyone.